We remember and we will never forget the nearly 3,000 beautiful lives taken from us so cruelly, including 184 men, women, and children here, the youngest just three years old. We honor the courage of those who put themselves in harm's way to save people they never knew. We come together in prayer and in gratitude for the strength that has fortified us across these 15 years. And we renew the love and the faith that binds us together as one American family. But for the families who lost a piece of their heart that day, I imagine it can seem like just yesterday. Perhaps it's the memory of a last kiss given to a spouse, or the last goodbye to a mother or father, a sister, or a brother. We wonder how their lives might have unfolded, how their dreams might have taken shape. And I am mindful that no words we offer or deeds we do can ever truly erase the pain of their absence. survivors and families of 9-11, your steadfast love and faithfulness has been an inspiration to me and to our entire country. Even as you've mourned, you've summoned the strength to carry on. What do we lost? How do we live up to their example? And how do we keep their spirit alive in our own hearts? It's all of us, every American who gets up each day, lives our lives, carries on. Because as Americans, we do not give in to fear. We will preserve our freedoms and the way of life that makes us a beacon to the world. May God forever bless the United States of America.